Okay, Tuesday morning in the kingdom and still no snow. It's all lies or it's slowly coming like the wife coming out of the bathroom in her lingerie as I wait and wait and wait. Oh, unreal. So this morning we woke up to plus two, but feels like minus two. How convenient. All right, on the yo-yo scale, plus 36 Fahrenheit, but feels like plus 28. Hmm, not the same numbers, not like the Celsius scale. Oh, well. Okay, Amazon has my 10th book of the Winter Road series. Where's the money? Yes, I never got paid. That's why I retired. So I just gave up on those guys to think they're Winter Road truckers. Yes, but look at me. I have 15 seconds of fame on Ice Road Truckers. So that book is free from April 16th to the 20th. Five days on Amazon. Four days on Sesame Street. Link in the description so you guys can enjoy the book. Yes, have fun, enjoy. It's the only free stuff I can give away because I'm retired. Living at the end of the world where everything is so expensive. All right, I'm hiding behind the caboose here. We had a successful day welding on there. And as you can see, the barrels have melted down. The snow melted. Yes. And you wonder why I work in a shop with a dirt floor that's uneven. Look at me outside. I was having fun yesterday in the mud. Oh, it was unreal. So we'll have to start the green toy up and level the barrels. That's why we keep the chain on and everything for safety. Because we can't afford to get hurt. Because it's three hours for the plane to fly us out to the good drugs. That's why if we do get hurt, we drink vodka to take the pain away. All right, let's scroll this way. Oh, I got the burps. I had good peanut butter today. Oh, it was tasty. It was that gifted stuff that arrived. Oh, it's good. It was that gifted stuff that arrived last week. It's got flavor. Oh, yeah, because it's a product of the USA. All right. There we go. We're going along here pretty good. All right. The snow is still over there, but more is coming today. I don't know. It's all lies. All right, let's see if we can back up. Oh, I don't want to trip and fall and record. All right. Oh, where's the flags? We'll do the sidestep like on that country western song. Oh, Beyonce will be doing it too. All right. There we go. The flags are right there. And over there. I came out, it was windy. Now it's not windy. All right. Sir Rodney sent up the u-joints to fix the quad for the staff so she'll have four-wheel drive so she can get twice as stuck yes four-wheel drive oh i can then we'll have to get the cat out to pull her out or anything like that so we can fix that that's on the to-do list yes there's always lots to do all right so we got the flags we got everything i think so we're not sure what we're doing today we might be in the shop hiding i don't know it's unreal this weather but this is normal we need a good snowstorm yes lots of snow because the fish will be walking soon because there's no water it's too dry up here all right i better go here comes the boss what's up everybody sir rodney from west trans phase three of the sir rodney world tour kicks off today with a brief stop in toronto and then we're off to texas until sunday looking forward to that i've never been to texas and I'm looking forward to see if they, they always say everything's bigger in Texas. Well, I'm looking to find out. We're gonna go look around, maybe get a Texas sized steak, maybe a few other things, if you know what I mean. So uh, weather's looking okay. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Maybe we'll have some pictures from big shiny Texas. Talk to you later. Okay, I just ran around with the dogs gathering material because in theory it's supposed to snow for two days. So we'll be stuck in the shop, but if we pre-make things for the deck here, and then when the sun came, comes out, we can go outside and weld. All right, so we got to make a little plate for down in here to cover, oop, hand and eye coordination, cover this in so it's right there. And we need some granny handles to go from here up to there. So I got my measurement there. So we'll use this rebar because we've got lots of it. And plus it gives it the grippiness or whatever when you're trying to hold on. Also too, we went to the shed and we got out the groaty rubber mount lights. Okay, we're not putting LED on this truck because this is old school. So these lights will have to be mounted up in here like that. So the bolt hole will have to come out. Okay, we want to mount and drill the holes now because we have to put things or attachments for attaching the electrical wires and same as down underneath 
we're going to have to attach the electrical wires through the frames and all that kind of stuff so we want to make sure that's incorporated when we do the deck flip and stuff like that so it's easier to be organized than trying to weld overhead you know uh, when it's on the truck trying to run some wires okay we also gathered up materials for in the shop here we need some four gauge wire for the electrical on the 38 46 trucks in the shop iris brought me a stick for the wood stove which was nice and this is a box we got yesterday from sir rodney so there's the u-joints the start buttons the pinion seal for the 39 chevy and the old u-joint for the quad see we mark on everything the older you get the more you mark on and we got the welding rods that i ordered last week so it was like uh seven days exactly to order when they came from saskatoon princess auto store so it doesn't matter where you live they ship it from the store that has it also too i'm hercules and i dragged in the last steel plate that i was saving for the deck of that truck but the thing is i knew that if i did the deck parts i'd have extra steel because i'd cut my pieces over here for the battery box storage box for the 46 chevy truck okay so this will be a snow day project now we have everything how would you say it's fitting together and that's the end of the day drag it in and dump it on the ground or on the table yes all right so uh, we've done enough work this morning let's go have a morning coffee with some vodka in it and then in the snow comes we are ready okay lunchtime in the kingdom the barrels were becoming unsafe and everything like that so i figured might as well move them now because if we get that heavy snow and cold the ground will be frozen all right so i was running the welder with that extension cord plugging in the green toy so that 855 coming started no problem all right let's adjust the barrels and then we can have lunch and then hopefully it starts snowing right away okay two o'clock in the afternoon and it's getting nasty out here it's getting chilly but i got what i wanted welded look at the beautiful welds yeah right the trick is is to get this to join in all right so you're joining two plates plus the post in the center so it can get nasty but that's why you use the 330 second rod and crank the heat up and hope for the best so everything is done across the front here we didn't tackle the mesh today because that's a two-person job so the staff will have to help push the mesh down and it's getting cold out here so the problem i was having was the welding helmet was fogging up okay but the main thing is i got all the welds done so we burned some nice 1 8 rod in here to close it all up and the main thing is now it can snow now it can rain because this is not going to get affected i don't have to worry about cleaning it out and it tells you the quality of the build on this deck originally as a log deck over there that uh checker plate is an inch out of square and it's tight over here so this is that tells you the confusion of when you go to modify this deck or anything like that all right let's put the tools away start the wood stove and enjoy the warm shop okay coffee time in the kingdom took a bit to get organized but we dumped a lot of stuff in the shop here because we knew that snow was coming so over here we got the granny handle rebars okay so i have no means of heating that up and bending it because we got rid of the oxyacetylene torches at the start of the great lockdown because one we can't afford it two we can't afford it and three we can't afford it so with the wood stove going we'll toss them in there get them all roasty red hot and then we can bend them in theory okay so that's what we'll do toss them in go have a coffee and then over here i'm drilling and fitting to make the battery box toolbox for the 46 chevy here okay so everything is cut and fit and make it work out okay because i can't prefab it on the bench and then put it on because nothing straight nothing square in the world of dr seuss all right that's the kingdom we live in that land all right let's go have a quick coffee and then we can get back to work because this stove is putting out some nice heat because i got chilled standing out there welding okay it's starting to get nasty out there but i go outside use the chop saw because i don't like the sparks all over the place in the shop so i blow the sparks all over the wood so it's uh i would say we could start a fire but all right but it's wet enough as you can see so my shoes get wet and then we come back in here all right let's do the walk and talk video because you guys haven't had your exercise today all right so over here i sure i'm glad we dragged everything in this morning yes so now we don't have to worry about wet steel wet parts or wet pieces all right so i drilled out my holes buffed and cleaned up the pieces these are the verticals for the battery box tool storage box on the 46 and over here is the flat plate for going across and everything like that so it's recycled material we cut it apart that was a shed we cut apart 
and the granny handles turned out pretty good just look at that so if i tried to do that in july i'd have to start the wood stove and then really heat out the shop so you have to have everything planned ahead so you're ready to go all right let's get going here because we can get some production done because the boss is an asshole okay just about six o'clock in the kingdom and we're having good luck with the cut and fit i don't know what you call it mitering metering or something like that or coping copying coping oh whatever okay so that's what we're doing so this is the back frame right here and what i did is i'm running the flat on the top and the angle iron on the bottom so i used the flat piece as a guide okay because we have two of everything right so it was cut and fit cut and fit and grind that's what we did there also too it sure is a lot easier this time around i think the last time i did this cut and fit or cope and fit or miter whatever i didn't have the get ready everybody the pro point 38 plus by princess auto plasma cutter yes this thing is unreal and it doesn't matter how ugly the material is how much paints on it how much goop is on it it's working out good so i want to get these panels all done because the back side is the back side and we've marked them with x's and x's and y's where's the other one there's a y so it's just like how would you say trigonometry or something in school it's a good thing they taught me that and i think we have an o over here yeah there's an o okay so we got to make fronts and backs so that's lefts and right so i better keep going while i'm still sober enough to remember how to do this okay i got the back side or back one welded up and then i've now put it on top okay so we should look at to see how it's going x's and o's line up so we have lefts and right so this is working out good this is the back and i made a note that i have to sheet it to the top because i how do you say change of plans we're not making a sealed unit okay because it's just a box that holds a battery and some tools so this is working out good all right let's see if i'm hercules okay all right so what we're doing here sorry about the interruptions all right put your thingy on here this is clamped to the workbench remember these pieces aren't straight they're not uh how would you say uh straight they're bent all right put this on here like this and then get yourself square all right so once you're square check your lines up there and that's how you do it so tack weld this side and then put the square on this side and you should be good so it'll line up that's the way we do it you notice the tape measures over there that's a good place for it because we create an illusion and that's what we're doing we're working with material that's not straight we're putting it on a deck that's not straight and well that's the way it is here we live in the land of dr seuss nothing is straight okay 7 30 at night and i got the box frame done yes we're gonna put the door right here and i went and found a battery yes we have to go find a battery see it's all covered in snow so that means i got wet yes so that worked out pretty good some of this material was very very bent and stuff like that but i did a test fit we got to bevel this out here because it fits up in the channel iron or the angle and the holes line up so that worked out pretty good so i had to be like this old house or this yankee workshop norm abram so i had to use these here to hold this together so i could do it and i've been using those on my slaves and ski bunks and stuff like that so i had to adapt and overcome to make this work so we're very pleased with that so now i'll have to sheet it in tomorrow and make a hole in the side there for the cables to come through and then we can continue on with the wiring on the 46 chevy i'm very pleased with today a little bit of snow means we weld inside all right let's go check on the flags Tuesday morning in Whoville and it's just after 8 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to work. As you can see, there's no sunrise and lots of clouds throughout. It's kind of chilly. It's supposed to start snowing around 1 or 2 p.m. today, but that could change. You never know. But with these clouds rolling in, it could be rain. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in and get to work. 12.30 and I'm just finishing up lunch. I had leftovers from last night. It is pretty windy and getting chilly out here. It's supposed to start snowing any time now, so maybe when I'm back at work it will snow. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in and get to work. 4.30 and I made it to the kingdom. Now I'll head on down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Looks like the snow has kind of let up a bit, but I'm sure that will change. Almost 5 p.m. and I'm officially done in the kingdom. We're not doing anything today. My dad's tinkering around in the shops and I'll head on back into Whoville with my dog treats and do the weather. 
5 p.m. and I just made it home from the kingdom and put the quad away. As you can see, it started snowing some more. I'll zoom in and show you off into the distance there. You can't really see it on camera, but it is snowing. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do the weather. Five thirty. I'm just getting ready to do the weather, and I looked up at the cameras, and as you can see, it started snowing pretty good. Now the snowflakes have gotten a lot bigger, and it's starting to get even more windy out here. I will zoom in and show you off into the distance, and it kind of looks like a snowstorm over there. So let's head inside and get the weather done. Six p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's four degrees Celsius, which is thirty-nine degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty chilly out today, and the wind's picked up, but it is snowing now. So let's see how much snow comes down. It's time to head inside. Let the dogs back in because I can hear them crying. Make supper and end my day. Okay, not sure what we have for minutes today, so we might have to find something we did on this day in two thousand and twenty-three. Okay, the plan now is to pull the little communist cat out of the snowbank here. He spent the winter in the snowbank and he's not too happy. So now we're going to give it a pull. Well, hopefully the other camera will record it because the staff has Friday off because it's Friday. All right. Okay, great plan. Uh, now I have to use the green toy with a short reach, you know, because it is a rotor wrecker, not a crane, and reach up and grab the bee plow, which I think I can do. Uh, I just about killed myself climbing over that big snow pile at my age. I should have my crazy carpet like when I was a kid and had all my hair. Okay, of course the shadows are here, so it's really affecting everything, but the green toy worked out pretty good. We got the V plow on, and now we can figure out the hydraulic cylinders, because the ones that were on here were shipped south three years ago to get repaired because they were leaking and they since disappeared just like everything else that goes south. All right we'll talk to you later. Okay we got no stop today because it's Saturday and she knows I can't fire her because she inherits everything. So I've been down here by myself I hand shoveled out this Lombard sleigh that's 80 years old and the wood was kind of broke a couple of years ago on the one skis here so we kind of fixed them to get them up to the shop. Okay, I got my mic on so you guys can see the TD-18 known as Blaine. He came from Saskatchewan. I imported him. But that's the biggest winter freighting cat around. And these are the Lombard cross pole sleighs. I was a fool back in 1989. No, 1998. I'm confused. And I made these sleighs thinking they were the best thing since sliced bread, but they're not. 
They are for hard surface to pull logs, and that's why I put the railroad ties on to show. But that's the cross pole design, and that's an all steel sleigh, which basically had the wood replaced. Here's a wooden lumbar cross pole skis or sleigh or whatever, and that shows you that the wood is a little rotten. It pulls on the front of the ski, so that's why it's a drawback. It's not a bush sleigh, but we have fun with it, and we keep it going. So now we can go have fun. Oh yeah. And a Lombard is what a Lynn tractor is. Two manufacturers, they work together, so that's why they look the same. But the Lynn tractor, we do the cross pole design or the hook up with them so we can show the world how they work. And that's how the cross poles work to make them steer on the back. All right, I'm tired. I have to ride the hoe and shovel some snow, so now I'm gonna go drink beer. See how it's Saturday. Okay, hiding by the corner of the shop to stay out of the snow, the wind and everything. The flags are tangled up, but they're all wet. They'll be frozen pretty soon, but that's okay. All right, let's go walk the dogs, make a video, drink some beer, and we'll talk to you guys later.